It was just a really great feeling to be able to walk into someone's room and have them think that I'm not a new grad. And I really feel like I got my comfort and my time management skills from the residency program. A new graduate nurse faces a lot of challenges. Um, for starters, they're transitioning from the student nurse role to the professional nurse role. And that presents challenges because they're going from a place where they weren't necessarily held accountable or weren't responsible for the patient's care, and now they are. Um, there's a lot for them to learn. I think the first challenge is that it's not what um, they expected at all in terms of what, like, skill-wise school has prepared them. But um, in terms of, like, I guess, like, just the rhythm of the hospital and what is expected of them, they're not really sure. Often in school there's a thought of once I complete school I'll have time for my family, more time for myself, and then in fact once they graduate um, there are additional work commitments and, and time commitments related to starting your career. So it's a challenging time. Basically time management and organizing themselves is probably the biggest challenge that new graduates face. Today, our, our new graduate nurses then are hired with the expectations that we will provide support. We have on-the-job training for them. We have one-to-one -one preceptors for them. We have classes that are offered for them that are taught by clinical experts within and without our system. And we also have networking and support, which we know then helps to lead them to success. It was just incredibly scary starting out on your own. I mean, when you're in school, you know that you have a preceptor there the entire time. But before we started the residency, I just knew that I was going to be on my own and that you know, I felt like this huge fear. Well, Megan's progression through the program, when she first came in, she was nervous. At first, I would round with her in the morning when we do bedside report um, to make sure that I met the patients too, but eventually um, it got to the point where she would round herself, I'd round after her, and then she'd just call me with needs, and I'd just sort of be in the hall, and she eventually slowly but surely needed me less and less. The residency helped me feel more comfortable with the type of patients that I have on my floor. The residency gave me a huge comfort level. You know, you're sort of tied to the cord and then slowly but surely you cut the cord. So, but yeah, that was sort of her progression. The biggest benefit is that they all start as one group, one cohort, and they network with each other to support each other. Um, I, as the nurse residency coordinator, I try to pr provide support and um, guidance to them when needed. Their preceptors serve as very valuable resources, uh, but one of the biggest benefits that residents ha themselves have said is the support that they provide each other. I liked how the residency program, it, it incorporated the clinical aspects, but it also, you kind of had a chance every week to go to a class and meet with other people who are going through the same experiences as you were going through. When we're in class, it's encouraged that they talk about their experiences on their unit, things that have happened that week, um, and they kind of discuss, uh, discuss with each other what, what's going on. So it gives them a valuable time to, to be able to lean on each other and, and provide that support network. You didn't feel like you were in it alone. You really had a lot of support, and um, that I really liked that sense of camaraderie that the new grad program provided. Our ultimate goal is really to be able to have them be comfortable in our environment as well as um, retain and want to stay in nursing. So the residency is structured so that in the beginning, the first three weeks actually, there's more time spent in class. The first week, they complete nursing orientation just like any other new, new nurse hire. Week two and week three, there is a, a class on Monday and a class on Friday for those two weeks. Um, so two class days for week two and three, and then the rest of the time is available 
uh, to be spent working on their unit with their preceptor. And then from that point on, it depends on the specialty, but it's structured to spend the majority of your time on the unit that you're hired onto with your preceptor being trained. So guided unit-based orientation. And there is on average about one class a week. The residency is 10 weeks long for med surgeon rehab and then other specialties, labor and delivery, uh, critical care, specialties such as that are 13 weeks. So it's 10 to 13 weeks. It was like you were still in school in a way. I mean, we, we met with classes and we had lectures. Weaknesses that I felt that I had were covered in the residency in those lectures. So it was kind of nice. We went in depth about pulmonary um, cardiology endocrine, things like that, and it really helped because when you're on the unit and you're taking care of patients, sometimes you don't get to learn every single little detail about the patho, and it's really nice to review that information on a week-to-week -week basis. We have not utilized one set curriculum and stuck with that. We actually get a lot of feedback from educators, directors, and then from residents themselves. Um, and based on the feedback that we get, we have updated curriculum, changed classes, changed the structure of the program um, to, to be able to allow for the best learning. I had one of the most amazing preceptors. I love her so much. She, I mean, would check in on me and, and really try to style the learning for me based on how I learn best. Knowing that she was there, I mean, I could text her or call her outside of work was just a huge comfort for me. Usually I find out a week beforehand that I'm going to get my new graduate, so I make them a binder of all the important telephone numbers, um, all the important policies that they're going to need to read, and then on the day that they're coming, I get there a little early so that I can greet them, find out who they are, and then um, see, I guess, what challenges they expect to face, what they're scared of, and then for the first two days I just let them follow me so that they can get the flow of things, and then they start taking patients. When you're a new grad, it's really good to hear where you can improve. And they were very honest with me, but very supportive too. It was never intimidating when they would tell me that I needed to work on my organization skills or something like that. And that kind of feedback was extremely valuable. And I felt like I became a better nurse from that. We have always felt it was important for new graduates to be able to have support which makes them successful. And so today we've just been able to really raise the bar and with all of the evidence that is out there and all of really the expertise that we have within the system, be able to meet what our mission, vision and values are for them as well. I feel like I am set to a higher bar because I feel like St. David's has invested so much in me, but knowing that they have invested that time is, is great and makes me want to be a better nurse and continue on with my education. St. David's really appealed to me because their mission statement, I just, when I went for my interview, I saw the, just the spirit that they provided care to their patients with. Everybody was extremely supportive. This, and this new grad program, once I was introduced to it, this was just a, this was an extremely appealing thing for me to come to. The things that, that we have done specifically that have made the residency successful uh, are allowing the new graduates time to, to support each other and an opportunity to support each other and talk to each other. Uh, without the residency, a new graduate may be the only new graduate on their unit, so they may not get that kind of interaction. And, and then providing a ongoing evaluation and feedback to the residents. If you don't know what you're doing wrong, you can't fix it. You really get what you put into this program. I felt like every week I was really trying to work on the things that my preceptors were telling me. And because of that, I was able to overcome some of the difficult things that I was facing as a new grad. Use the residency program to your advantage because most, most nurses don't get that opportunity. I think it's successful because the system as a whole really buys into the value of lifelong learning and really feels that the new graduates are important and are key to our success. 
it feels amazing. Knowing that I'm the person that can really make a difference in someone's life just really helps my heart. <laughs>